Spike, wake the fuck up! Release the Snyder Cut. What's up, geeks and gamers? It's Lethal Lightning here from another video, and this one we're going to be talking about the Release the Snyder Cut movement that happened, and it was glorious. Absolutely glorious. First of all, I just wanted to show off oh, over here this uh, fan art of the Justice League Snyder Cut for HBO Max. Now, this is only fan art, it's not real. This was created by Boss Logic. He does fantastic work. And this just goes to show something that I really, really wanted to speak about. Everyone and their dog has been tweeting, release the Snyder Cut. And someone like me and people like Uche and Ryan, you know, we've been part of this release the Snyder Cut movement for about two years now. It's been two years since the Justice League movie came out. And when I saw that movie in the cinema, I was devastated. Absolutely devastated. That was not the movie this man created. Zack Snyder has a vision. You might not like his interpretation of the characters, you might not like his movies, but you can't deny the man had a unique vision. And we will never get to see the uh, the epic conclusion of what it was meant to be. Because Justice League was a two-parter. We were gonna get Justice League 2 by now if he was still if he was still attached to the project. And then we were going to get a fifth movie, which we're not really too sure on what it all was, and it was going to wrap up the Snyder universe. Personally, I think he was going for a Kingdom Come type of storyline, which would have been freaking epic to see. But now, two years after the Justice League movie, there was an organised movement by a group of extremely passionate fans to call for the release of the Snyder Cut. And this was very well organised, so got to give credit where credit is due. It was done extraordinarily. People like Ray Fisher, Ray Parker, Fiona, Jason Momoa, especially Jason Momoa, they have just been these constant voices of reason of just to release this man's movie. Like I said, you don't even have to like his movies, you don't even have to like his interpretation of the characters, but being pro Snyder Cut is so much more than being for the release of a comic book movie. Being pro release the Snyder Cut is being pro fandom. The way he was treated by Warner Brothers, the way they just pushed him to the side and deleted his movie uh, when the very unfortunate incident happened where his daughter killed herself and it was horrible. How is he supposed to make a movie when that's going on? You know, he wanted to take a break, fair enough, and they decided to delete it and then Joss Whedon comes in and, well, we all saw what happened. I don't fully blame Joss Whedon for the abortion that movie was. I, I put the blame solely on Warner Brothers for that whole horrible thing and we've had uh, Gal Gadot come out and say release the Snyder Cut. Now the thing with Gal Gadot saying is yes she's not a big as name as Ben Affleck who also said it but she has her own Wonder Woman 1984 coming out next year and I'm pretty confident Warner Brothers does not want her putting out this whole release the Snyder Cut and pushing that. We've had Jason Momoa who's been pushing it hard for a long time and we all know that Warner Brothers does not want him to be saying those types of things and he's still doing it because this movement is just amazing, like we need this movie to come out, you know, we're getting these little victories here and there, you know, we've been against all the nonsense that Hollywood has been pulling over these last few years, and we're starting to chalk up these wins, and we're getting great momentum, we had the redesign of Sonic, which just looks so much better, uh, it's Star Wars had a pretty good week last week, you know, starting to win back some goodwill, you know, they still got a far way to go, but hell, it's a good start, and if we can just get this Snyder Cut movie, Warner Brothers will win 2019. They already have won 2019, if you ask me. Uh, Joker. Joker recently crossed $1 billion, the first R-rated movie to do so. The highest grossing comic book movie of all time. One of the most artistic movies made in a long time, really. And yet, there is more people talking about Release the Snyder Cut than there is about Joker's success. That just shows you the type of loyal fan base that the Snyder, the Snyder universe has, and I am very proud to be part of that. Like I said, you know, it's just a fantastic movement. The money has been raised, and it's all gone into places like, you know, of course we had the billboards, you know, the plane fly over with the release of Snyder Cut attached to it, but there's also been money raised for suicide prevention, you know, and, you know, I've lost a few people to suicide, unfortunately, in my time, and to see a lot of goodwill done around a movie. It's just amazing. And so many people, not just these people that are attached to the movie, but everyone is talking about this. I was bringing up all these tabs, looking at everyone that's been tweeting release the Snyder Cut, and it's so many people. Even the people that don't like his movies are supporting this movement. I want to see Jeremy 
on Twitter, do a hashtag release the Snyder Cut. Hit thumbs up if you want Jeremy to do hashtag release the Snyder Cut on Twitter. Um, that would piss him off. But it, you just got to look beyond the movie and look to the movement and what it represents. It's a changing of the guard. It's pro-fandom, which is something we are all here at geeksandgamers.com. There's just no reason to keep this attitude up from Hollywood, and stuff like this is just proving them wrong constantly. Release the Snyder Cut. Release the Snyder Cut. HBO Max. We talked about them a little bit before. There is a streaming war coming. Disney Plus is out, you know, with their Mandalorian. Uh, we got Amazon, we got Apple TV, we got Netflix, and then we have HBO Max, which personally looks pretty cool to me because of the Green Lantern show. Oz is one of my favorite shows. The Wire's dope. I'm, I'd love to watch The Wire again. Um, but if they come out with release the Snyder Cut, they will win the streaming war. Day one. Day one. You see how many people will sign up day one if they bring out the Snyder Cut. Snyder Cut, last I checked during the explosion on Twitter that happened earlier, I think it fell just short of 700,000 tweets using that hashtag. About 20 or 30 were from me personally. But it was such an epic, epic moment. In fact, I've seen people on Twitter talk about this, and I can't confirm it's true, but I see no reason to lie about it. Apparently it came in at around the 30th spot for the most used hashtag in, I don't know, it was 24 hours or some amount of time or something like that, which is pretty impressive. But it was also, it topped the initial release of the Justice, I like to call it Justice League, but the initial release of the Justice League movie two years ago. Today, release the Snyder Cut hashtag topped the hashtag when the movie was coming out two years ago. That's a loyal fan base. That is a fan base that is prepared to give you money, Warner Brothers. You already made your billion dollars, you can potentially make another billion dollars with this. I really, really hope that more companies, especially Lucasfilm, look at this example of what a passionate and devout fan base can do. Release the Snyder Cut. Let me know what you think about all this. Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do not forget to subscribe to Geeks and Gamers. Share the video around. Leave a big thumbs up on it. All that good jazz. I'm Lethal Lightning. I want you all to have a fantastic day. And I'll see you all in the next video. Release the Snyder Cut. Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksandGamers.com. And if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website. Visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops. And in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day and we will talk to you later.